Just stop giving me good ideas. Hi guys. For money. So today I'll be recording. Uh, I feel weird. I don't like recording in front of you hey guys. How do I sound like? Who do I sound like? Hi guys. So today I'll be making a um a video of me doing a rug. Here's the frame. I think this is the fifth time I'm making this rug. It's a divine feminine rug. It took me like about two days and I'm just gonna record my process. And I, mean, and I hope you guys like it. I'm out of breath, it's like so fucking hot in here. Let's get started. That's another frame we have in the back. My boyfriend uses that one because he used the rug gun and I used the snake pitch needle. This guy lit right here. So we're going to be using a protractor to trace the image onto the cloth, but my boyfriend wanted me to help him, so I decided I will. And this is the 830 Beamer. Pretty sexy, I'll tell you that. It's probably big. Okay, so we will be doing the Mac Miller, the Divine Feminine album, such a masterpiece. We're going to be tracing all the lines, get as much details as you can to make the image very accurate this is one of the rugs that i've made before i use it for reference and these are the tools you will need to help you out and these are the yarns i will be using let's get started so I put the yarn into the bottom hole, pulled it out, and then putting into that other hole right there, and then pull the yarn out, boom, yes. So I will be outlining the hair with the black, and then I fill it inside. You're just going to push the needle into the cloth and out, in, out, in, out. Pretty easily. And if you mess up, pull the yarn out and then you can fix the cloth so it doesn't tear out and then go again. Here's a better, a closer view. This is a view from the back side, how it looks when you're pushing the needle into the cloth. Then once you're finished with the black, you're going to go to the next color. For it easily. Sorry, but my fingers, they're red. Oh my god. I was eating hot Cheetos before this. I was snacking. It's very easy, but it does take up a lot of time. We're gonna do the same process with the next color. Damn, why my hand look like that? Fucking Jay. And then make sure not to pull the whole yarn out, just a little piece, and then you cut it out. Now we're going with the white, same thing. loop was too long so I had to cut it off and then just fix the yarns back to where they're supposed to be in their own section
now we're going to the next section which is the sky i hate this one because it can be a little bit hard for me because <laughs> i need to make it as realistic as i can because i don't want to make it like look like a blob so i have to pick the right colors so it's okay if you don't use the same colors i did you can switch it up i just used the colors that i had This is quite satisfying to watch, not gonna lie, I'm like sitting zoned into this shit. Wow, beautiful. That's the final touch. And so after you're done, you're gonna need to glue down this bad bitch. Glue it down. Make sure that those edges are glued. You don't need to glue the whole middle piece, just the edges. See, that beamer came out sexy, but um, that's not what we're focusing on. So you, um, once it's dry, take it like an hour. Um, you're gonna take out those staples out of the frame. Them bitches were hard to fucking pull. I was sweating balls. You cut it all out. I like to make sure there's nothing sticking out. Very nice. And I like to put a weight on top sometimes just to flatten it out, make it more smooth. And now we're ready to ship this bitch out. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this helped you understand how to punch needle um i'm sorry i'm bad at explaining things but i feel like i took very good videos and angles of like how you know do it so you guys should be good if you do end up doing this rev you know send them my way or you can just dm us um the rug that you need on our instagram at 40 people i put the link in the description and I put all my social media and all that good stuff down there too. So don't forget to look at that. Um, I'm using my fucking flashlight from fucking lighting. <laughs>